The Minister of Defence yesterday admitted that his department made a $776 million error in his estimates on contractor spending. The Department of National Defence calls that a coding error. The letter was sent to the Defence Committee just hours before the Minister tried to get approval for his supplementary estimates. Perhaps the Minister, Mr. Speaker, would like to share with us now, before the Committee meets, on whether there's any errors in the main estimates. The Honourable Minister of National Defence. Well, Mr. Speaker, as the member would know, the committee, the Supplementary Estimates Committee, actually met yesterday. Prior to that committee meeting, it was brought to my attention by officials that they had mistakenly placed figures in the wrong column. They corrected that prior to the committee meeting taking place. They sent a letter to the chair. Officials answered for that yesterday at the committee. I explained it quite simply. And the reality, Mr. Speaker, is no matter what figures are there, we know the opposition are not going to support the Canadian Forces' efforts to rebuild their efficiencies, to rebuild their equipment, to rebuild their infrastructure across the country. That's been the record of the No Defence Party. The Honourable Member for Edmonton Strathcona. Mr. Speaker, it's a question of good governance. It's not just coding errors that are challenging this government. The Department of Citizenship and Immigration now says it made, quote, a drafting error in its refugee legislation. The government used time allocation twice in, on, the, on the bill in this House. When the minister ran this bill through, the minister said, I believe this is an example of a process that works very well. So why now show, why not now show real leadership and take responsibility for these mistakes? The Honourable Minister of Citizenship and Immigration. Well, in fact, Mr. Speaker, the, that particular provision of the bill had been debated in the previous Parliament by, for about, I think, 65 hours and another 20-plus uh, hours in this Parliament. And not a single member of the uh, opposition identified the technical drafting error, uh, even after dozens of hours, dozens of witnesses appeared at committee over many days and hours. And this bill received uh, extensive coverage uh, and, and analysis in Parliament, Mr. Speaker, uh, and we are correcting the technical drafting error. Yeah, yeah. The Honourable Member for Cumberland, Colchester, Muscadabit Valley. 